Well, hey, and welcome back to Old World Blues, the Enclave mod. I took a break to play as Peter the Great, but now we are back reforming America. <laughs> Fun stuff. It's crazy when you really think about all the variety of things you do. Technically, Iron Man Enclave 3, too. I, I can't tell you for the life of me what the second one was. <laughs> I probably just failed or something. I can't remember, though. That was too long ago. But I guess it's about time we prepare to invade the NCR. I think that's our only next enemy. Really. I noticed there's actually a really cool focus, like, where is it? There's the Lucia incident, which causes the Western Brotherhood to declare war on the NCR. Or the Bishop incident, which caused the Desert Raiders to declare war on the NCR, which is an amazing, like, focus. Desert Raiders are strong, but the Western Brotherhood is way better, but then... I have to fight the Western Brotherhood, who... to reclaim the rest of California, which could be a problem if I think about it. It's hard to tell. I guess we'll just get stronger, and when it comes to it, I'll have to make make a decision that's hopefully an amazing, top-quality, S-tier decision. And the forgotten men and women. Although the NCR is a democracy, it's highly flawed, Brahmin barons run the northern territories like feudal holdings, crushing small farmers and factory workers. The caravans buy and sell senators for b bottle caps, and ethnic tensions simmer beneath the surface. A leader who promised to restore pre-war America's ideals and rally the forgotten people of New California could be very successful with our aid. Okay, and it's really hard to tell exactly what I should do, because... I don't think we can beat the NCR. Well, maybe. It's just, it's a hard to tell, and the Civil War focus could be so easy, but then in the comments someone said that if I do this focus, we can't, like, form America because then the other side of the Civil War will get everything. It's complicated, okay? It's time to declare war, and we're, we're not, we're not actually doing that good. But I guess we have to do what we can. And also, here's the deal. It's actually impossible for us to hide our activities from the NCR. It just takes too much political power. And I think, actually, yeah, I don't think we have any focuses left to really decrease that. And we can't bribe them right now. Uh, yeah, it's bad. So we, we are going to war either way. This could be really good or really bad. And my focus to give them that terrible recovery rate stability, surrender limit, war support attack will fire before then, and then I can immediately get someone else to declare war on them. But I'm not worried about defeating them. What I'm worried about is who I call in, because if I call in the Western Brotherhood, they're going to easily help defeat them, but then they're going to be a major threat. And if I call the Desert Raiders in, they probably aren't actually powerful enough to help, but they will probably join the NCR if I don't. Oh, they're actually going down Nevada Pact, so actually I don't think they will join the NCR, but uh, it's hard to say because the Western Brotherhood can could guarantee a win against the NCR. That might be what I need to do. There we go. And it will unlock a decision, so I'm not exactly sure what happens, but here it is. Hide activities from the NCR. Here it is. The time has come. I guess, should we just do whatever we can to get a head start and steal their industry? This might be a terrible idea, but <laughs> it's all we really got at this point. Nope, and their troops have appeared. They have seized one civilian factory. Yes, the one civilian factory of Tumble Down is ours. Chico is ours too. Maybe we can seize some more territory up in the north. Okay, the Lucia incident is done. So we need spies in the new California Republic. And we need manpower to send spies. Oh, and the Lucia incident fired. This can only be good, hopefully. Are they moving troops away? I hope so. <laughs> Uh, because this is not going very well. Non-aggression pact, sure. We just can't lose too much war score because now we're guaranteed to win. What? Power outages? New Reno's no longer a core? Um, that's not ideal. The fall of Shady Sands, that's good, I guess. Um, but losing New Reno as a core state, that's like our most populous area that we have. 
Yeah, welcome back, Sac City. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you for the manpower. It's going to disappear real quick. And the people of the Enclave, they fought hard. They gave it their all. They took down the NCR one step at a time. They didn't even need the Western Brotherhood's help in the end. They were stronger than any could believe. Their diligence allowed them to do what any other modern army couldn't do. They resembled the strength of the nations of the past, those that had fallen. But now we can restore those nations, maybe. <laughs> Let's just say, oh, things went so good, so good that I can't even, you know, put the video on YouTube. It would just make everybody so jealous about my skill. I definitely didn't lose or anything or... Uh, but you know, I don't I don't really know if I have enough time to start this over again and I don't really want to start this again for a third time because apparently I somehow I've played this three times. I, I can't remember the second time. But do you know what I can do? There's there's a very famous YouTuber known for not actually playing <clears throat> as countries and just playing AI-only battles, and hey, what's stopping me from just doing an AI-only battle and seeing if the AI can one-up me? I don't even know if this is, like, programmed for the AI to be the Enclave, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Here's the deal. We'll see if the AI can do better than me. If the AI loses somehow and just capitulates, then I have won, and then I'm at least equal with the sentient AI. If the AI wins, then... I will, um, then note that that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Caesar's Legion going against the Twisted Hairs like usual. Let's see, who did the Enclave choose? Oh, maybe this Franklin Anderson. Wait, how does, how did they already have war goals against the 80s, which is like on the other side of the world? Wow, the AI works in mysterious ways, I don't know. Okay, and the AI sat on their war goal for a while, but they're finally at war with New Reno with more divisions than I had. Well, they probably just took the decision that gave them divisions, but let's see if they can capitulate them faster. They're doing an actually decent job. Oh well, maybe I maybe I was a little too harsh on the AI. Maybe they're actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, and in the south, you can see Caesar's Legion going after, well, in the north, actually. <laughs> in the north, you can see Caesar's Legion going after the Hand Dogs. You can also see that the En- Oh, the Enclave, ah. Oh, the Enclave, those are past times. The Enclave is doing nothing. Obviously a sign of weakness. <laughs> Let's see if the AI can actually do what I couldn't. Not impressed so far, they still have that war goal. They're obviously, it's a sign of weakness that they're not using the war goal too. Honestly, this, wow. This side of the focus tree is so much better, they actually get, like, manpower, not there, not, it's actually, it's actually not there, it's right here, 4,000 manpower right here, opening the vaults, it's being the good guys, it, it, it's a cost, but you can't form the United States on that path, I don't think you can, so, ah, uh, the AI enclave is just, uh, boring, they're not doing anything, but, I guess there's some cool stuff going on. Hemolt Station is at war with the Bone Dancers. I guess they kind of they kind of look the same. I think definitely the Hemolt Station is a lot cooler though. So they've they've got my money. <laughs> okay, and I've long awaited this moment, and they're finally at war, and they're doing good. Then they were smart and attacked when the Scorpions were at war, but I don't think they have the ability to call the Western Brotherhood or anybody. I guess they're they're both in a faction this time around, but NCR, come on, you gotta you gotta go a little harder on them. You can't go easy on them after you just were were a jerk to me. Obviously this side of the focus tree is just oh no, now they're now they're getting more powerful. I was going to make something up about this side of the focus tree being more powerful, but they're kind of getting pushed back now. I don't know what they've got themselves into, but they declared a war on the Yakuza territories too, and they'll probably go after the 80s right after that. I don't I don't think this was a good idea on their part. They could maybe win. Their divisions are so good, but it was just it's just really bad timing, honestly. I guess they are kind of holding. They don't really have enough divisions to man their border if you look at it. Like, look at that. Oh, look who lost. How pathetic. 
ridiculous. The AI all, always inferior to my superior intellect. Even though we both lost, so we're technically even at being stupid. It's, it's okay. Sorry I couldn't actually start again. I just didn't have time to start over, do some, and do it all over again. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you all next time as we maybe play this mod again. Tell me in the comments what you think. I might switch over to some other stuff and come back when I'm refreshed and ready to manage the early game politics again. See you guys whenever that is.